Hello beautiful people. So once again, we're back when we're back with another video this time I'm gonna be reviewing a hotel that I am staying in Of course, I'm in Mexico again. I am outside of Tijuana though. I'm in Playa Rosarito and the hotel that I'm reviewing today is called Hotel Las Rocas in English that means the rock so before I go any further before you do anything else you gotta hit that subscribe button like share and subscribe that's the golden rule around these parts like share and subscribe and don't forget to tune into my spin-off channel bachelor with a passport that's where you'll get the more juicier and saucier stuff for the guys who keep asking out the females bachelor with a passport find it subscribe and let's get that channel going as much as we're getting this channel going as well so so let's get into the video here i'm going to review the hotel and um what you're looking at in the top corner screen there is a view from my ocean front room and that's the pacific ocean there because we're on the pacific coast i'm going to change things up a little bit in this video usually i review the hotel and the room is usually last this time we're going to do the room first so let's switch things around and there you get a better view of my wonderful view the view from my room oceanfront room now the cost this was only a hundred and twenty dollars believe it or not um, I'm an Expedia member so I get the Expedia perks and the discounts Expedia if you're watching this you know what to do all right so let's get into the video right now to the meat of the matter. We're going to start off with the room. We're doing things differently. But before we get in there, it's the balcony area here. So, you know, I come out here in the evenings with my margarita or my mojito and I can just relax and be at one with nature and the sea. So, the room is pretty big, it's very re ample space. And as you can see right there, we got the usual bedside tables, plenty of lighting, high ceilings. It's all the plus that adds to the decor. We got a flat screen plasma TV. We got almost what there is a full size mirror you can get dressed in. Ladies, if you're here, you won't be lacking for mirrors. They even provide you with a fan um the ac is not in every room so if you somebody needs the ac i really don't i just open up the sliding balcony doors and i get the fresh air but if you need ac you might want to be specific when you're checking in that you need an ac room not sure why all of them don't have it but it hasn't bothered me in the slightest as of now we got plenty of closet space here what i did notice no security deposit box. I'm pretty sure that's something you can request at the reception as well. This is the bathroom here. Pretty nice, you know, it has um, your typical Mexican decor. If you stayed in Mexican hotels in Cancun and other parts of Mexico, you would have seen this type of decor. Now, the property is beautiful. It's it's aging um, and they're going to need um, to make some repairs on it. They said that they will be doing so in the future, but it's rentable and believe me, it, it gets booked, booked out pretty fast. This property gets booked out extremely fast. Okay, so we've exited the room now and we're making our way to other parts of the property. I'm actually on the third floor of one of the three buildings that make up this hotel. The hotel has approximately 100 rooms. And as I said earlier on, this hotel is called Las Rocas. In English, that means the rocks. It's aptly titled because... Um, the hotel is located on a rocky cliff 
on the edge of the Pacific Ocean. But they've done a wonderful job in incorporating the hotel into its surroundings. So there's plenty of parking here. If my memory serves me correctly, the parking is actually free. Um, a lot of people drive across the border and then, of course, along the Pacific Coast here in Tijuana, Rosarito, Ensenada to come stay here. You see all these cars? I even saw some folks that drove all the way from Nevada to come here. You see, a lot of cars. It's very popular and it gets filled up pretty quickly. Actually, they're totally booked out right now. So, we're leaving my building and we are headed into the main building that houses reception and the restaurants, etc. Let me show you some more of the surroundings. That's the entrance gate right there, the security check in, everybody going in, making sure you're supposed to be here. That's all it's comfort, and there's a spa here as well. The spa is on the main building on the outside, that's a sign right there. And those are the steps that lead up to the spa, so you can get your massages the sauna room, all the offerings of a regular spa. So this is reception here. So said it's, um, it's a real Mexican style hotel. Reception is not um, spectacular or anything like that, but you do feel like you're in Mexico once you enter the reception. We've got the reception folks right there. They're very nice. They're very gracious. So free breakfast comes with your room and you also get two welcome drinks vouchers. You can have your choice of margarita, mojito, or whatever your drink choice. This is one of the two restaurants. This is the Ursula restaurant, which I think this opens up at about four o'clock. Goes till till 10.30 approximately and it was closed last night because they were um, renovating the kitchen so most of us went off our property about five minutes away to a place called Puerto Nuevo it's the seafood capital of Mexico and we indulged in lobster pretty pretty good there's also shrimp as well all right so exiting the earth soil the restaurant this is Cafe Del Mar. Now they serve breakfast and lunch. I had breakfast here earlier on. That was awesome as well. The, the food here is amazing. It's excellent. This is Cafe Del Mar open for breakfast and lunch. They close at three and when they close at three, that's when the Ursula restaurant opens up for dinner. I showed you the Ursula just a second earlier. And of course it's a part of the of the Cafe Del Mar, you can dine on the outside here. Check that out. Amazing. I mean, the um, location of the hotel, it works. The price itself, I am telling you, is absolutely amazing. So these are more buildings more rooms this is a sign here which will point you in the direction of whatever you're looking for so you're looking for cafe del mar you're looking for the north pool or the infinity pool there are actually two pools the north pool is on that side over there that i'm pointing to and the infinity pool you can see the um, arrow indicating you to that area as well so let's go check out the infinity pool course before we get to the infinity pool there is a bar here as well I don't know what time they open so we're gonna find out Buenos dias a que hora empieza el bar? a la 10 a la 10 okay muchas gracias so she said the bar opens at 10 that means it's already open 
because we're well past 10 o'clock now it's i think it's 11 11 40 and this is um the area the bar is going to be open at night as well you can come and sit enjoy the views in the day or the night check that out absolutely amazing you know what i am i didn't get to come to the bar last night after we got back from Puerto Nuevo we went straight to the room and crashed so let me find out what time the bar closes a que hora cierra el bar yes okay gracias so the bar opens at 10 and closes at 10 okay We'll be coming back later on. Let's catch the view, plenty of seating. Of course, I think I'll have to come check this out. Tonight. This is um, a seating area, and I guess they light a fire here. Uh, there's two of those, so you know the folks are going to be scrambling for the prime seats. All right, let's get on down here and show you this infinity pool. Uh, if you've been following my channel and my videos, and if you know me personally, you know that I'm a pool fanatic. But before we get to that, there's also a second bar. It's called The Tap Room. I think this one they told me is close for renovations. Well, it looks really nice. The Tap Room, really inviting. I'm going to, it's going to be a, a welcome addition when it gets back on track. So, in addition to that, if you are a volleyball enthusiast, you know, you just want something to get the blood going, they got, they got a volleyball court over there. I don't know if you can see it. And it's over here on the grassy knoll, but they've implemented sand. So, for all the volleyball into the ass, you can do your thing. I've been informed that there are two jacuzzis here, and we're going to one of them now. Oh, nice. Very nice. No, no, this one is hidden. Up here on top, hideaway jacuzzi. So you're on top here and you're looking down and everything down there, amazing. The things one could get up to in this jacuzzi area. <laughs> so that's the first jacuzzi. And there's the second jacuzzi down in plain sight along with the infinity pool just check out those views right here people once again this is la rocas located on the outskirts of tijuana on the coast las playas las playas there the Rosa, rosarito all right so we're gonna bring you a closer view of the infinity pool okay so this is a close-up view of the infinity pool Check that out, you're overlooking the Pacific Ocean right there, and the pool is amazing. Wow. See, there's folks already out and about. There's not a lot of sun today. It was very sunny yesterday. Not a lot of sun today, but it doesn't really matter. Everyone still having fun. course this is just another stop on my on my travels I'll be here for a minute I'm really enjoying it and from here I'm gonna decide where I'm gonna be headed next but this is the Las Rocas Resort and Spa you can't go wrong